Hello all, and welcome back to Kreos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of Morrowind as the Kaji Thief Drolin, and hopefully getting close to done with quests for the Imperial Cult. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention to how many quests total there were, uh, but I've been running around doing things for the Oracle Lalatia Varen. I think it's Varen. Um, Varian. And now she has asked us to go get a scroll um, that was to be used to defeat um, Karakalmo. And while I'm at it, I can try and kill Karakalmo as well. They are in Ashalmamilka, Milkala, Ashalmamilkala. And that is near, if I click on this, um, Short Island south of Narmok. Um, in the Bitter Coast region, also near Lormarin. And so if I look here, um, this is Narmok. This is Lormarin. And it's southwest, so it's got to be in this area somewhere. I think I can catch a boat to Narmok. But I'm wondering if it wouldn't be simpler to go over land to, from Balmora there. Either way, I'll cut in when I find um, Ashal Mamilkala. Ashal Mamilkala. Blech. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, so I am more west of Lormarin than southwest, but this seems like a decent candidate for what I'm looking for. And since there was a hunger out and about, I decided that I could, oh, sneak up on the hunger and see if I can't find the entrance to this place, figure out where it is. Um, so I basically came to Narmok and then ran along this little atoll or chain of islands to find my way here. Um, I do not understand why they put people, especially... You can't escape. <sighs> Dang it. I don't understand why I got noticed doing that, but oh well. Anyway, I was going to say that I don't understand why they put neutral people, and I should have known he was neutral. I was trying to check, and that was a mistake. Um, but in these areas, I suppose, potentially, they could function as vendors or something. But it just still seems strange to just have a random person sitting outside when you've got various Atronachs and other um, aggressive creatures wandering around the same area. Alright, so this is a Shalmamilkala shrine. Good to know that this is where it is, and on the map right about here, and it has been revealed local, so... Alright, cool. Diving right in. Lots of stuff to kill is going to be my guess. And I'm not expecting that individual to be neutral. I expect them to be quite aggressive, as a matter of fact. And Daedra always are, so we'll kill this guy. Who is apparently a caster. Okay. Even so... Oh, yes, Mer Meryarin was the knight that they thought was going to be difficult to get past and kill. And appears to be alone? That's interesting. I was expecting the wizard, but maybe further in? No, well, either way. Oh my, they said you were going to be durable. I mean... Granted, probably durable at a lower level at that point. You are so overpowered. Yes, apparently. Um, so a hop toad ring. I don't know what jump even does. Um, maybe when you were just doing starting the quest, that would have been difficult, but they really talked him up. Um, okay, so gold. A Daedra heart, sure, why not? And a pearl, sure, why not? Oh, dang. Yeah, apparently when you loot these Adric Shrines, they'll occasionally send a Dramora Lord after you as a side effect of doing so. 
Diedrich short sword 10 to 26 10 to 26 12 to 24 I mean the thrust is better but otherwise the chop the slash is one better I don't know how often I do any of those is that a sh short blade is a short blade how much does it weigh 24 oh gosh why on earth does a Daedric Wagazashi weigh 30? Huh. Okay. That's kind of tempting at that point, given just the difference in weight. Eh, sure. It's a change of pace. Alright. Um. Now I have to figure out where on earth... Oh, hey, there's another path over there. Okay, that works. About to say I have to figure out where on earth these guys would be otherwise, but um, how do I get oh, right, okay ah, crud I was not expecting getting out of the water to be this difficult once I got in, there we go local okay, because that's where I came in, so this is actually two separate paths eh, go this way first, we'll see if it's a loop Although, given the progression of quests, and them talking up the durability of the knight and the danger dangerousness of the other character, I can probably see this being the last one for her, for the oracle. Um, does this keep going? Kind of. But no, not really. Okay. So, what was the point? Just to get me to two slaughterfish? Maybe? I guess it's just a... Hold on. Is there a way over there? No. Oh! Oh! I went the wrong way. If it loops back this way instead of... Okay, that would make more sense. But it also might have been the whole ring of jump thing. Oh, yes. Use the ring of jump to get over here. I could see that. Especially since... Huh. No! Tried. Well... I guess I get to do some underwater exploring then. Briefly. Is this now? Okay. Well, this is intriguing. And you're going to be the one that I'm supposed to kill, right? Yep. Heracalmo. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. And so is that. And you have books and scrolls and stuff, but first, you must die. I shall enjoy watching you take your last breath. Well, that's disturbing. Uh, Fuddle Charm, Dan Orange Intelligence. A belt of sanguine martial craft. A constant effect of fortify armor. That seems strange to have on a um, caster, but sure, why not? Okay. Ooh, 114 gold. Very nice. Um, potion of Detect Enchantments and Potion of Reflection. Meh. Okay. Spirit of the Daedra. I probably already have, but I'm going to take it. Song of the Alchemists. Same thing. I can just relieve or lose them later. Or drop them off somewhere later once I've verified whether or not I have them. Uh, scroll of Black Death, take. Scroll of Flame Bane, which casts weakness to fire. Scroll of the Black Storm, damage magicka, shock damage, and shock damage. Okay. And then the plate and some random junk. Okay. But I still haven't recovered the scroll, which is what I was coming for to begin with. So, yeah, the 
I guess I'll be... I'll try and jump it again, but it could just be that... Um, levitation's my best bet. We'll see. Yay, success. I see a scroll. Yep. And this is Urjorad, the individual who was lost, who has a Divine Judgment Silver Staff, does damage endurance and damage strength, has a Chameleon Ring, has Cure Common Disease, and Restore Health. And I will take the Restore Health, because who knows when you might need them. Alright. And a Scroll of Fiercely Roasting. It does fire damage, 18 to 81 points for 5 seconds, in 100 feet on target, and weakness to fire, 18 to 81%. Wow. And it does say cast once. It does say cast once, because it is a scroll. But I did not need it, so... Um, off, well... Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. This looks like it. Okay. So, out I go then. Probably probably would have been more difficult had this been the first group I did quests for, which I have said a number of times would be would have been a good idea, given that the early stuff gives you a lot of um, potions and um, scrolls and stuff that would be beneficial. Uh, however... This later stuff? Who knows? Maybe it would have been perfectly doable. I'm not sure. But for now, I'm going to... Yeah, it's a long sword. Uh, cut back out, come back in when I get to Ebit Heart, and turn this in and see if she has any more quests for us. I'll be back. Alright. Back in... Ebenhart and about well, to reach Lalatia, who says, pleasure, really. By killing Karakalmo and Maryarin, you have avenged the deaths of the healer Urgerad and his master Drofarin Stiffneck, and rid the world of a great evil. You have served the Imperial cult well. Please take these gauntlets of glory and put them to good use. Speak to me again when you are ready to undertake another of the Oracle's quests. And left and right gauntlets of glory. So let's go see what they are. Um, here we go. Fortify unarmored, 10 points for 120 seconds on self. And fortify hand-to-hand, -hand, 10 points for 120 seconds on self. Nice. So they'd be good if you were going for a... Uh, Monkish type build. And it sounded like she have more, might more have another quest, so let's see what she has to say about that. Thurgist Drolin. She called me Oracle Drolin last time. I wondered about that because I didn't remember getting updated to an Oracle. But whatever. Thurgist Drolin. Stendar has granted me a vision of the artifact Skull Crusher. Okay, what is Skull Crusher? During the Skyrim captivity, the Master Weaponsmith. Hilbungard of Skyrim and the enchanter Dorek Gusel created an enchanted warhammer, feather light yet brutal as an Atronach's fist. This artifact, christened Skull Crusher by its makers, was lost when thieves snatched it from a festival display. Legend says its makers gave Skull Crusher the power to betray unlawful possessors, returning by its own will to its makers. All accounts indicate that Dorak Gusel and Hilbengard forged Skull Crusher at a Daedric site on Vardenfell, but no one has ever identified the site. But Stendar has given me a sign. He has shown me a vision of Hilbengard's forge, a Daedric ruin with a forge of molten stone in its heart. But fate has sealed this Daedric ruin forever from the world above by a colossal rockfall. Yet, there is another way into Hilbengard's forge. It lies through the halls of the dead. I do not know where these holes of the dead lie, but I know the way is dark and guarded by restless spirits, and the forge itself is guarded by the powerful Daedra who served Dorak Gusel in his enchantment rituals. 
Ask a Dunmer savant and a Dunmer scout about a sealed Daedric ruin which might conceal Hivlingard's forge, and ask about the Halls of the Dead, another ruin or grave guarded by undead spirits near this site. Through such a portal might the questing hero seek Skullcrusher, the peerless Warhammer, lost to men since the First Era. I believe this legendary weapon is fated to your hand. If you find Skullcrusher, bring it to me so I may bless it and free, of, free it of its creator's curse. Okay, so that was Skullcrusher. Might as well ask about Stendar. Stendar, god of justice and mercy, is the patron of righteous might and merciful forbearance. He is the inspiration of magistrates and rulers, the patron of the imperial legions, and the comfort of the law-abiding citizen. Okay, and I already know about Dunmer Savants and Scouts. Oh, what can you tell me about Halls of the Dead? My vision revealed that access to Hilbengard's Forge would be found only through the Halls of the Dead. I know of no Halls of the Dead, but perhaps if you consult the local Dunmer Savants and Scouts, you may gain insight into this puzzling reference. All right, was there something else? Sealed Daedric Ruin. In my vision, the Warhammer Skullcrusher would be found in a Daedric Ruin, but one whose passages had collapsed, sealing access to its lower precincts. I think that's everything. Yep. And this is... So the last one, they really talked up the enemies, but this one kind of seems a bit more difficult. Again, I don't know how many are left, but we'll see. Um, and I will pursue this in the next video. For now, thanks all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.